Welcome friends, in previous video we discussed about Whitston bridge and how it can be used to measure the value of unknown resistance. So in this video we will discuss its applications. So as we had already seen in previous circuit that this is the Whitston bridge where R4 or any one resistance let's say R4 is unknown if it is if we denote it by Rx then it can be found using the derived equation that is R2, R3 by R1. So this is one application to find out uh, the value of unknown resistance. So to find out this value R2, R3 and R1 should be known. But it is not necessary to change all these values to find out the uh, value of Rx. If R1 and R2 are fixed, we can put a potentiometer or variable resistor at this place at R3. So R1 and R2 will be fixed. We have to just vary R3 in such a way that the ratio will give us the Rx. So one application that will be now to measure to measure the value of DC resistance as our source is DC so it is used to measure the DC resistance. Now another application in industries is to find the faulty part the faulty connection or faulty line or to locate the fault in the cable to locate the fault in the cable in telephone companies. So these are the couple of applications of bits and bridges in industries. We will discuss just couple of applications. So now DC resistance but we cannot measure all the values of DC resistance. In previous video we had seen there are three types of resistances based on its value low, mid and high. So using Whitston bridge we can just measure the resistances of mid resistances that means if its value is uh, more than 1 ohm and it is less than uh, the order of 0 0.1 mega ohm then and then we can measure it using Whitston bridge but if the value of resistance you have connected is too low then what is the problem why is it limitation so if it is too low then the resistances of leads the connecting leads of resistors the resistor is not alone it comes with leads so that uh, its resistance will also affect the result so if we look at the circuit the leads like these will also have the resistances small amount of resistances and it will be of order of this resistance itself so it will also affect the result so that is uh, one of the limitations and its solution is Kelvin's bridge that we are going to discuss in next few lectures another uh, another limitation if it is its value is too high the resistance you have, you want to find out it's too high then there are two disadvantages the first is the current will be too low because of high resistance so your galvanometer your current meter will be insensitive to the imbalance. If your bridge is not balanced then your deflection should be shown on meter so it will not happen and the another limitation is heating effect. If your resistance is too high then the heating will affect the result. So these are the couple of uh, limitations because of high resistance and because of low resistance will get the another uh, faulty result because of resistance of leads. So these are the couple of applications and a uh, couple of limitations of Whitston bridges. And uh, practically if you might have seen in your labs uh, such variable resistor, such potentiometer uh, resistance box you might have seen where you can change the knob to change the value of resistance and you can find out the value of Rx by uh, simply trial and error kind of thing. So this is the uh, practical use of Whitston bridge to find out the unknown resistance. So if you are given uh, galvanometer 
and a black box you can find out its value so sensitivity of this Whitstone bridge we are going to discuss in next video uh, how much deflection will be shown on galvanometer if some amount of current is passing through that path when bridge is not